Welcome back to another episode of The Daily Threat, your go-to source for the latest and most critical developments in cybersecurity. Today's episode is packed with crucial updates that every business and individual should be aware of. We're diving deep into three major stories, the escalating wave of cyber attacks targeting hospitals and the healthcare industry, the discovery of new vulnerabilities in T-HID CPUs that could potentially compromise millions of devices, and the urgent preparations companies are making to defend against quantum hackers. Each of these stories highlights different facets of the ever-evolving threat landscape, and we'll be breaking down exactly how these attacks happen, the risks they pose, and what you can do to protect your organization. Let's start with the alarming rise in cyber attacks on hospitals and the broader healthcare industry. According to a recent article from the Wall Street Journal, cyber criminals have been increasingly targeting healthcare facilities with ransomware, data breaches, and other malicious activities. The healthcare industry has always been a prime target for cyber attacks due to the sensitive nature of the data they handle, patient records, billing information, and proprietary research, all of which are highly valuable on the dark web. The attacks are becoming more sophisticated and devastating. In many cases, attackers gain access through phishing emails that trick employees into clicking on malicious links or downloading infected attachments. Once inside the network, these attackers often use lateral movement techniques to navigate through the system, escalating their privileges and eventually gaining control over critical systems. Ransomware is frequently deployed, encrypting vital data and demanding hefty ransoms for its release. The impact is severe. Hospitals have had to divert patients, delay critical procedures, and in some cases, even shut down entirely. The stakes in the healthcare industry are incredibly high, as these attacks can have life or death consequences. Beyond the immediate disruption, there's the long-term damage to the institution's reputation, potential lawsuits, and the loss of patient trust. The attackers are well aware of this and use it as leverage to pressure institutions into paying ransoms quickly. Unfortunately, paying the ransom doesn't always guarantee the safe return of data, and it certainly doesn't prevent future attacks. To mitigate these risks, healthcare institutions must prioritize cybersecurity by implementing strong access controls, regularly updating and patching systems, and training staff to recognize and respond to phishing attempts. Additionally, conducting regular security assessments and having a robust incident response plan in place are crucial steps in minimizing the impact of any attack. Cybersecurity frameworks, such as the NIST Cybersecurity Framework, provide comprehensive guidelines that can help healthcare organizations strengthen their defenses. Next, we turn our attention to a significant discovery in the world of hardware vulnerabilities, specifically concerning t hit CPUs. As reported by the Hacker News, a set of vulnerabilities, collectively dubbed Ghostwrite, has been uncovered in these processors, which are widely used in a range of devices, including IoT devices, smartphones, and industrial control systems. The vulnerabilities allow attackers to exploit weaknesses in speculative execution, a feature used by CPUs to improve performance by predicting the paths of future instructions. Speculative execution vulnerabilities aren't new. Many will recall the Spectre and Meltdown vulnerabilities from a few years ago, but Ghostwrite presents a new set of challenges. Attackers exploiting these vulnerabilities can potentially access sensitive data, such as encryption keys, passwords, and other confidential information, by manipulating the speculative execution process. This could lead to significant breaches of security, especially in environments where T-HIT CPUs are used in critical infrastructure or handle sensitive data. The attack surface for Ghostwrite is extensive, given the widespread use of T-HIT CPUs. The potential risks include unauthorized access to data, disruption of operations, and even the possibility of remote code execution. For businesses, the implications are clear. Any device using a vulnerable CPU could become a gateway for attackers to infiltrate a network. Mitigating the risks posed by Ghostwrite requires a multifaceted approach. First and foremost, manufacturers need to release microcode updates and patches to address these vulnerabilities. End users, whether they are individuals or organizations, must ensure that their devices are kept up to date with the latest security patches. 
In environments where sensitive data is handled, it may also be necessary to implement additional layers of security, such as hardware-based encryption and stringent access controls, to protect against potential exploitation. Finally, we shift our focus to a rapidly emerging threat that has the potential to revolutionize cybersecurity, quantum computing. The Wall Street Journal recently highlighted how companies are beginning to prepare for the advent of quantum hackers, attackers who could use quantum computers to break current encryption methods. Quantum computing promises to deliver unprecedented processing power, but it also poses a significant threat to the cryptographic algorithms that protect our data today. Most of the encryption methods in use today, such as RSA and ECC, rely on the difficulty of solving complex mathematical problems that would take classical computers thousands of years to crack. However, quantum computers, with their ability to process information in fundamentally different ways, could potentially solve these problems in a matter of hours or even minutes. This means that once quantum computers become sufficiently advanced, they could render current encryption methods obsolete, leaving vast amounts of sensitive data exposed. Companies are not sitting idly by. The race is on to develop quantum-resistant algorithms that can withstand the power of quantum computers. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, is leading the charge by developing new cryptographic standards designed to be secure against quantum attacks. However, the transition to quantum-resistant cryptography will not be instantaneous. It will require a significant overhaul of existing systems, which could take years to implement fully. In the meantime, businesses must stay informed about developments in quantum computing and begin planning for the future. This could involve conducting a comprehensive inventory of systems and data that rely on vulnerable encryption methods, investing in quantum-resistant technologies as they become available, and participating in industry-wide efforts to develop and adopt new cryptographic standards. As we wrap up today's episode, it's clear that the cybersecurity landscape is more complex and challenging than ever. From the relentless attacks on the healthcare sector to the discovery of critical CPU vulnerabilities and the looming threat of quantum hackers, there is no shortage of threats that businesses and individuals must contend with. Staying informed, vigilant, and proactive is key to defending against these ever-evolving dangers. Thank you for tuning in to The Daily Threat. If you found today's episode informative, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest cybersecurity news and insights. Stay safe, stay secure, and we'll see you in the next episode.